Let's put these cans of cola into some water and see what happens. First we'll put some Pepsi in, make sure there's no air bubbles attached. Looks like it's sunk. Do the same thing with a Coke, making sure there's no air bubbles attached. Looks like that is sunk as well. Now let's place in a Diet Coke, make sure there's no air bubbles attached. Hey, that one, that one's floating. And that makes sense if you recognize that the sugared colas have sugar in them. So that's going to make their densities a little bit higher than the diet soda, which does not contain any sugar. Okay, so that makes sense that these would be sinking in some water and this would be floating on the basis of density. Now I'm going to take these cans and we're going to place them into this container over here, which also just contains water. First we'll do our Diet Coke. You see the same result. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Try the Pepsi. Same result. And so, of course, we'd expect the Coca-Cola, which is sugared, to sink as well. And wait a minute. It's floating. Let me see that. Let's make sure I don't have any air in on there. All the air bubbles are gone. Put it, I'm gonna push it down on the bottom. And yet it floats. Well, if you know your chemistry, you'll be able to figure out what's going on here.